If you want to be a great Excel user, you have to know how to use text formulas to clean and format data. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use many of the common text formulas that I use on the job as a senior data analyst. Before we get started, don't forget to download the data that is linked to the top of the description. And once you've downloaded the data and opened it up, come over here to the personal info tab. As you can see, we have a lot of personal data. Be sure to note that this is not real data. We have some funky looking names right here. We have some phone numbers and we have some addresses. Starting off by looking over here at the names, we can see that all of these names are capitalized and formatted in different ways than the others. But often when we're working with data, we want to have all values in the same column with a similar format. So let's look at a few formulas that will help us do this. First, let's look at upper. You can start the upper function just by typing an equal sign like you do for any formula and then upper U-P-P-E-R in an open parenthesis. Now, all we have to do is select the cell that we want to apply the formatting to and hit enter. And now we can see it changed every letter in the cell to uppercase. And now if we just drag this down, it will do the same thing with all of the other values. Similarly, as you might have guessed, lower is going to work the same way, except it's going to change all of the letters to lowercase. So now you can see Elijah Butler is all in lowercase. We can go ahead and drag that down. And now we have all of the different names in lowercase. And then last is proper. Often when we're working with names or any kind of specific noun, we're just going to want to capitalize the first letter in each word. And that's exactly what the proper formula does. So as you can see, just like you would read in a book or see anywhere, it has the first letter of my first name capitalized and then the first letter of my last name capitalized. And then if I drag that down, that does it to each one of the names listed in our table. There's actually one other formula for these names I want to do, but I forgot to put it in our table. So we are just going to click and drag on these cells. Then we're going to right click and hit insert and we are going to shift cells to the right. And here we are just going to type trim. For this trim function, what it does is it removes all of the spaces from the left and from the right of your word. So it doesn't remove the spaces in between, but just those to the left and to the right. Whenever I do this to my name, it doesn't look any different because I didn't have any excessive spaces. But if we go ahead and drag this down, now we can see that this Avery Smith is more formatted like the others because it had a bunch of spaces to the left as well as to the right. And if we come over here and click on it, we can see that right here. But while these examples may seem pretty simple, all four of these formulas that we just looked at are incredibly helpful when it comes to formatting data. Next, let's look at these phone numbers and I'm going to zoom in here a little bit just so it's easier to see. And for some reason, we're just interested in the area code of these phone numbers. And to pull that, all we need to use is the left formula. The left formula pulls a specific number of characters from a string. So if we want to pull the left three numbers, because the first three numbers are the area code, we will just first put the cell that we are trying to apply the formatting to, hit a comma. And since we just want the first three, we will type a three and hit enter, and there we go. And let's go ahead and drag this down. And now we have all of the area codes of all of the people in our table. And then similarly, for some reason, we're just interested in the zip codes of our addresses, just like what we did there to find the area codes, we are going to do the same thing, except we are going to use the right formula. The right formula, just like the left formula, pulls a certain number of characters that you specify, but as you could probably guess, this formula pulls them from the right side of the string. So all we have to do is insert the cell that we want to apply the formatting to, hit a comma, and since we want the zip code, we want the last five characters. So we will hit a five, hit enter. Let's go ahead and drag this down. And there we go. Now we will zoom out a little bit. And now we have applied all of the formatting that we wanted to to our table of data. Anyway, I hope this video helped. If you want to become a great Excel user, feel free to go check out all of the other videos on my Excel playlist. And if you want to become a data analyst, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. I post a brand new video every single week helping you become the best data analyst or Excel user that you can be. And with that, I'll see you next week.